Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to RWA Rebirth Series 1 Heat G. I'm your host as always, Anderson9132, and we have another Manic Heat. Last time around we saw Snake Car 2, the highly favoured star rank machines, take out the Silver Arrow in fine style, before going on to defeat Crypt in very, very quick fashion, and then defeating the very impressive Gravity in also impressive style. They go through to the series semi-finals. We've got eight more mechanical mayhemic machines here tonight. Let's get cracking! Let's see who's here this week! So we have the star ranked Kilohertz versus Newcomers Rogue, they look impressive. Cerberus, we've seen them before, versus Newcomers Tantalize. New two newcomers here, ORK versus The Gap. And first up, up down to the star ranked machine versus Nuclear Hazard. <laughs> Nuclear hazard. A very powerful flipper, very quick at 20 centimeters per second. It's made out of card, which isn't the toughest of armors though. That could prove crucial in the war zone of RWA. For the Isle of Wight, up, down. Very long time competitors, back rebuilt with a very powerful flipper. Slightly slower though at 90, 15 centimeters per second, but it's made out of Lego, which is tougher. Launch has more. Up down at one of the original four in Red Wars Armageddon, having competed in every single series of the sport. Up down is a legend in every sense of the word. However, in recent series it hasn't had much success, and but has been completely rebuilt for this series. I wonder how the legend will get on here. Robotiers, stand by. These guys look like impressive newcomers, with that very powerful looking flipper. But they've got to watch out here because they're up against a legend of the business in Up Downer. Very improved as well. Three, two, one, activate. The favourite for this has to be Up Downer due to the experience, and as you can tell, the flipper is very strong. Look at the power there. They've definitely made improvements on that weapon this time around, haven't they? They've completely rebuilt it. Look at it, it's a lot more sturdier and strong. A nuclear hazard here are being flipped with and toyed with here. New guys are now flipping back, but I've done Oh my goodness, we did you see how quickly they self righted there? But now Brick has them. Oh, and look at the way they've ended up. A nuclear hazard now could have an advantage. They're going to try and flip them out of the arena, I think. Up down, I can't self right. Well, we have another upset here. Brick with another slam. Up down, a self riding. Getting flipped again, though. This is a good battle so far. Very, very even at the moment. I'd say nuclear hazard might just be on top at the moment. But up down, are coming back strong. Look at the power of the flipper. Look at the power of malfunction as well. This here is a terrific battle. This is flipping great stuff at the moment. Sorry for that poor pun. I do apologise. And we got all up down and nearly in the pit. But up down, are coming back strongly again trying to get that flipper underneath nuclear hazard and have flipped them once again nuclear hazard self writing in spectacular style flipped them over once more though and dangerously close towards that pit they're on their side and they're at the arena oh what an attack there by up down and what a fight Jeez. back they managed to pull themselves out of the grave and fight back strongly and up down and go through to the next round and up down and out, so up down and through, nuclear hazard out, next up two newcomers, ORK and The Gap, both these machines look good and impressive, let's see how well they perform in the war zone. From Rutland, Ork. Don't let the cheesy grin fool you, this robot's got a nasty weapon with that dangerous deadly axe, 91 grams is quite lightweight though in the IWA war zone. Okay. Look out. Newcomers to the wars with a lifting arm. It's quite slow though, quite lightweight, but it's got a strong chassis. Could do well, perhaps. Robotiers, stand by. There's ORK. <laughs> I love the design behind it. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? And there's the gap with that lifting arm. Could prove potential champions, these guys. Three. Two, 
Yeah. Did I really just say that the gap could prove to be potential champions? I'm not too sure about that, but still, uh, they're coming in and fighting now with ORK. ORK using his axe at a good effect. Look at that, they flipped over the gap using the axe, and now the axe smacking down into the internals, and that could very well have left the gap vulnerable and exposed. Can the gap self right? I don't think they can. And ORK sinking that axe in and sinking it in well. ORK look impressive here to me. They have got a dangerous looking machine. It has a rather uncouth appearance, but it is a very, very underestimated and very underappreciated robot too in the pits. Let me tell you that now. The gap trying to self right using that lifting arm. It's not going to work, lads. And I think ORK have won this one already. And that was over way too quickly. The gap seems to be already be out of it here. Oh! <laughs> and down comes the Ejodron can, which has just snapped off their weapon in one shot. Oh, dear me. Well, there's absolutely nothing up to the gap, is there, really? They go out. Oh, they've been righted! And they are still mobile. That is incredible for ORK. <laughs> We're having no problems there re-immobilizing them. Cease. And ORK go through to the next round. Well done to them. That's a shame for the gap, they uh, had a good looking machine, but they go out very early on. ORK go through to the next round. Next up, it's Cerberus versus newcomers Tantalize. Good fight, this one, hopefully. From London, Cerberus. Long time competitors of Robot Wars Arm again, we've seen them for years and years and years. They're former seeds, former semi finalists, but also former first round dropouts, too. Let's see how well they do this time. From wheelchair, tantalize. This looks like a mean, merciless new machine. It's 99 grams and quite quick at 13 centimeters per second. And that vertical spinner looks very, very deadly. Robot ears, stand by. Cerberus, very experienced, never really shown their full potential in the war zone. And tantalize, new boys. Look at that spinner. Could cause damage. Three. Two, one, activate. So for my, for me, the favourite would have to be Cerberus. Oh! <laughs> well, there, that goes straight out the window and tantalised. Goodness me! Well, that was impressive. Cerberus have got that little uh, crusher tail thing going on. I don't know how well that's going. To... Oh! Oh, goodness me! Nearly out of the arena there. And tantalised looks deadly and has literally torn Cerberus to shreds here. Look at Cerberus! Being absolutely destroyed by Tantalize. Now I was gonna say Cerberus have to be the favourite just simply because of experience. They're former semi-finalists in their own right. They've been seeded a few times as well in the past. But as I've already stated, they're also first round dropouts on many occasion. They haven't really had a very they've had very varying degrees of success. What happened there? Tantalize the backflip! But they were able to self-right themselves, and they're coming back in on the attack on Cerberus, and I don't think Cerberus is fully mobile here. I think Cerberus are done for. The potential that they have, they've completely rebuilt the robot since we last saw it. It looks absolutely stunning, but I don't think it's fully mobile. I think it might be dead on one side. Oh, nearly out of the arena again. And I tell you what, I thought that was it there for Cerberus. They are, they are still moving somehow, but I tell you what, they've taken a one heck of a beating. Look at the damage. And I think the house robots have realised that that's it as well. Yeah, Tantalise know that they've won it. In comes Katrina with that nasty spinning weapon. We're going to see that huge flywheel come into play. Oh, there we go. Come on, wreck it. Oh, there we go. It's a bit more of a better attack. But they are okay now, though. In comes Karma. And she's going to try and slice into the armor. Can't quite get the grip on it, unfortunately. It's an odd shape, isn't it, Cerberus? It is hard to get a hold of. Karma now managing to pin it down, though. Using that crushing beak. And she is going to take the doggy back to its kennel. Bye bye Cerberus, we'll see Sheesh. you again next time I'm sure. With a better machine hopefully, well done to Tantalize, they go through to the next round. That's a shame for Cerberus, veterans bite the dust, Tantalize the new boys, they look impressive, they go through. Next up the very experienced and very fancy Kilohertz versus Rogue, the new boys. From Essex, Rogue. These newcomers are quicker, 20 centimeters per second. They've got a lifting panel as their weapon. They're made out of card and plastic, which is quite a tough armor. And at 95 grams, they're reasonably heavy too. From Oxfordshire, Killer. 
Very, very fancied in the pits. This one, Kilohertz with his dangerous axe weapon. Very quick as well at 16 centimeters per second. They've been with us for years. Launch has more on these guys. Over to Kilohertz. They are a very deadly competitor with swinging axe, being a former runner up and a Christmas special champion. It's Series 29. They went out in the gauntlet. Surely this time they can do better than the Series semi finals. Robotiers, stand by. There's the newcomers rogue. They're really up against it here, if you ask me. Because they're facing these guys, Kilohertz, with that deadly axe. Former runners up in the past. Three, two, one, activate. Obvious favourites for this one are Kilohertz. Down comes the axe immediately on top of the flat low rogue. Rogue is the perfect shape and size for that axe of Kilohertz. But uh, rogue getting underneath Kilohertz, that was a good attack actually. Rogue are not here to waste time. They are ready to get in there in the action. And the other killers and slam them into the sidewall once again. Kilohertz driving back though strongly with that axe. That is a very powerful weapon on Kilohertz. Don't want to get caught out by that. There's, Ka Karma, there's Katrina, sorry, with her deadly blade. Rogue pushing back now on Kilohertz. This is a heck of a battle. And Kilohertz have been toppled over. We'll be seeing upset here. Kilohertz need to self fry They need to self fry quickly. Very, very quickly. Leave it quicker than that. And they have done. Oh, I tell you what, they were on the ropes there, weren't they? But for me, Rogue are actually on top at the moment. Kilohertz need to do more damage with that axe down at comes again. They are looking to cause more problems, but they seem to keep missing. Oh, and Rogue now toppled over, and it's almost as if the end is now nigh for Rogue. Look at that being hacked to bits there by Killerhurts, the underbelly being hit. Oh, the Killerhurts have inadvertently righted them. Now, will they rue that? They didn't mean to do it, I'm sure. Oh, and look at that great tactics, clamping a hold of Rogue and driving them into Katrina's uh, flight. What happened there? And then that just shows you the power of Killer Zax. It caused both robots to go flying away. That's 100 grams and 95 grams of robot just flicked away by the power of that axe. Down comes Killer Hertz's axe again. And I tell you what, Killer Hertz are coming back strongly towards the second half of this battle. And it is very, very even right now. Maybe just towards Killer Hertz on damage. I'm not too sure. There is Karma now coming in to cause some damage. Oh! <laughs> Killer Hertz, what are you doing, boys? You're not supposed to attack our Karma. That's not alright at all. Katrina, get out there and protect your friend. Don't hit her as well. What are you doing? Oh, Karma's been toppled over now. Rogue taking on Katrina. And Katrina are going to the storm a bit bit and have they? No, she's just managed to survive. But now, <laughs> now she finally goes down. Oh dear, why do we have house robots again? I've forgotten. Anyway, uh, Killer has now being slammed into the side wall. Down comes Killer Hurts Axe once again on that panel. The front lifting panel trying to stop that from working. That is their main problem and their main adversary at the moment. Good attack there again by Killer Hurts. Managing to clamp down and slam them into the side wall using that axe as a very good clamping device. I wonder if we're going to see more of that this series if they progress. I think they might do if this one goes down to a judge's decision. It's going to be very tight if it does go to a judge's decision. Oh, what a drive there by Kill by a Rogue on Killer Hurts and Killer Hurts Axe has now been stuck on Katrina. Now, can they get away from the pit? Yes, they can. But they tried to self right, but they can't self right. They haven't got enough room behind them. Oh, they're gone. They're in the pit. What an upset road of one. Six. I do not believe these are new boys. Rogues have just taken out the former runners up. Killer hats. Can you believe it? They go out. And Rogue goes through. That is a massive surprise. The star rank machine is gone. Rogue goes through. Next up. We see up down versus Tantalize. Later, the very impressive Rogue versus the very impressive ORK. First up, up down versus Tantalize. <laughs> Robotiers, stand by. There's up downer. Was very impressive in its last round with that flipper. Could do well here. And tantalize, also very impressive with that spinning weapon. Could do some serious damage to up downer this one. Three, two, one. Activate. Classic spinner versus flipper battle this one. Tantalize trying to hit up down a hard and do so on the rear end of up down but up down manages to get underneath the blade and then flipping tantalize over. Tantalize trying to self right, but they fell. Good driving there by up downer, trying to block them from self rising and now trying to get tantalize out of the arena. Tantalize are on their side, they can't get back from there surely. And this is all up downer here. 
I think they managed to find the weakness on Tadpoles. Yes, look, they can get their flipper underneath the blade without being hit. So as long as they can do that, they will have a perfect range for their weapon to be brought into play. And I tell you what, Tantalize, after looking so impressive in the last round, is currently, um, it's, um, it's, it, 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 it's being pathetic, really, isn't it? Let's be 100% honest here. And now Katrina showing them what a real spinning weapon can do. Oh! <laughs> and it's, uh, what is it? Bash the House Robots Day or something? Oh, the House Robots have been pummeled mercilessly in this. And Tantalizer now are stuck on their end and I don't think they can self right and I think I'm going to have this one one really don't you they can't seem to self right now they finally do but I'm just wondering whether they're not living in a mobile like, oh look at that they were hitting the flipper no I'm just wondering if any damage was done to the flipper there but then it doesn't look like it, it seems to be working perfectly fine but Tantalize could come back strongly here if they weren't a mobile for too long I think they were just okay oh goodness me did you see how high up down when they're getting out of the arena again? And now up down are in trouble, and so are Tantalize. Up down are self writing. Can Tantalize self write, or have they got not got enough power left in their spinning weapon? They're trying their hardest to write themselves. Now in there with malfunction. Is it mirror? Does that tooth on the spin look a little bit bent? They go flying again, and now they're on their side. And now all of a sudden, I don't think there's any drive left on Tantalite, and I think they have been finished here. Up down and placing them onto the floor flipper, and they know that they've won it now. Tantalize, there's nothing left of them. They can't self right they're done for. Up down there, uh, going for a little cheeky gurg over there. On, <laughs> on Malfunction, what do they think they're doing? An attack Malfunction, yeah, right. Over they go. Malfunction sorting them out. And Tantalize me on the floor flipper, they're going to go flying any second now, they do, oh, and nearly in the pit. Not quite there though. And Malfunction looks like they're going to do the uh, the final blow. Down go Tantalize, they're out, and the winners are up down and very impressively as well. Out go Tantalize, that's a shame for them, hope to see them again next time around. Up down and go through to the heat final where they're going to face either the newcomers ORK or the other newcomers Rogue. This should be a great battle. Robot ears, stand by. There's ORK, they were impressive in their last battle with that dangerous axe. But Rogue were impressive too, taking up the very highly fancied kilohertz in their battle. Three, two, one, activate. It's going to be hard for me to pick a winner between these two, if I'm honest. They're both very impressive machines with very dangerous weaponry. ORK being little up into the air there, and they managed to stop right there with their axe. But that's a good push there by Rogue, slamming ORK into the side wall, into the CPZ, and now into the other side wall. And now toppling ORK over. Can ORK self right? Or are they in trouble here? Are they immobilised, ORK? This has all been Rogue so far for me. ORK look like they could be in a lot of problems. ORK, can they self right? I think they've just managed to right themselves now. They have. But is there any movement left? in the drive is there any power left? I don't think so Rogue dominating dogged determined and just driving them all around the arena this is one heck of a battle already Rogue showing its dominance and now all of a sudden the tables are turned because ORK have managed to get a hold of a Rogue driving them into the Karma's CPZ oh blooming heck both of us very nearly in the pit look at this on the edge that's brinkmanship for you and ORK just managed to survive Rogue trying to get that lifter underneath. Down comes the axe of ORK on top, pushing back Rogue, getting that wedge underneath, and flipping Rogue over. That's exactly what they did to the gap. They used the axe, but they, they've righted Rogue by accident. I don't think they meant to do that. I think they were going for another attack. Rogue nearly in the pit now, and nearly flipped over again. ORK coming back very strongly here, but once again, Rogue pushing back strongly. This is a great battle, one of the best of the series between two fantastic newcomers. I wish we had more newcomers like this ever more often. This is fantastic. We've never seen either of these two teams before, and they both perform very, very well and very, very respectively. Rogue trying to get that lifting panel underneath, but once again, ORK getting that axe underneath and flipping them over. But they always manage to self right them by accident. I'm not too sure they mean to do that. Both robots now in the CV. What's happened there? In the corner, ORK have managed to get themselves beached on the arena side wall. Karma driving back into a CV. She's not been out of a CV, to be honest, not that far out. Anyway, and now we're going to push that by Rogue into ORK into Katrina. And Katrina slamming. 
Uh, ORK away with her spinner, but ORK coming back with that axe again. This is very, very tight, you know. This could well go to the judges, and I would not want to be a judge in this battle that went to the judges. Let me tell you that one right now. It has been very, very close. Rogue may be just on top at the moment, but it is very, very close. And tooth and nail. Rogue pushing back strongly there on ORK. And again, ORK on its side now. This is all Rogue at the moment. Will Rogue continue this onslaught, or will ORK come back again? ORK very nearly in the pit, but they want to get away. I think Rogue were a little bit gentle. We're a little bit kind there. Good attack there by OK again. Managing to pin them down with the axe and drive them into karma. See if that's good tactics and good control and style as well. The axe is also very aggressive, but Rogue's drive has been more aggressive throughout this one, if you ask me. This is a terrific fight, isn't it? Who's going to win? I wonder if it goes to the judges. I'll tell you what, this one might go to the judges because neither robot is really intending to go for the obvious hazards. And we are in the final 10 seconds and it is going to go to the judges. I would not want to be one of them. As we enter the final 5 seconds, it's ORK taking too much punishment at the end of this battle can they get one more axe shot in no they Six. can't she's cool and it's gonna go to the judges whoo gotta get my breath back who are they gonna go for here they've gone for rogue oh okay brilliant effort but they are gone rogue go through to the heat final and they're gonna face off against up down and this is a terrific battle here and i tell you what i can't pick a favorite don't know about you guys let's get to the arena shall we Robotiers, stand by. Contrary to what I just said, I think I'd have to favour Up Down just due to the fact that Rogue lacks a Shremek. Up Down has one, so Rogue's lifting panel shouldn't be able to do too much to them. But we shall see as time progresses. Three, two, one, activate. So, Rogue charging straight in. Both robots meeting in the centre of the arena. Rogue getting that lift up and then pushing the Lego machine into Karma's seat. But he's into Katrina's seat. And some damage has been done there already by Katrina's weapon. You saw the damage there. Oh my goodness me! And it wasn't anywhere near as much. Look at this. This is the initial onslaught here, look. Driving them in. Off came a side panel. And then look at this again. Another push. Oh, look at that! Up down and completely obliterated. And that's it, Rogue have done it, what an upset this is. Rogue have taken up both star rank robots in his heat. That's the end of Up Downer. <laughs> They're finished. I cannot believe what I just saw, Rogue. They could go far in this competition, you know. They're third of the semis. And in my opinion, <laughs> they have a chance. They're cleaning up the rubbish now. <laughs> Can they clean up the rubbish in the rest of the series? They go through to the series semi-finals. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I've been your host, Anderson9132, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.